Good afternoon, BBC Santa Mesa! Good afternoon. Let us all stand and get our hymnals as we sing hymnal number 50. Hymnal number 50, I Am Resolved. We will be singing the first, second, and last stanza. Hymnal number 50, say amen if you are there. Amen on the first stanza. I am resolved. Ready, sing. I am resolved. No longer to linger. Charmed by the world's delight. Things that are higher, things that are nobler. These have alert my sight. I will hasten to him. Hasten so glad. singing let us turn our hymnals to hymnal number 79 hymnal number 79 at the cross we will be singing the first and second stanza hymnal number 79 say amen if you are there amen on the first stanza alas and it ready sing alas and it my Savior bleed and did my sovereign die. Would he devote that sacred dead for such a worm as I? At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith. I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Was it for crimes that I have done? He groaned upon the tree. Amazing, fitting grace unknown, and of beyond degree. At the cross, at the cross, where I chorus once more, but this time in a cappella. Ready? Sing! At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the Thank you for that wonderful singing. For our opening prayer, let us call on Brother Aaron Medidas.
Let us pray. Panginoon, maraming salamat po muli sa uh, panibagong oras na pinagkalob niyo sa amin. Panginoon, na kami uh, together all together here again. Panginoon, sa itong simbahan na ito upang makapanig ng salita. Salamat po sa pag-iingat niyo. At dinadalangin din po namin ang mga papunta pa lang po dito na ingatan niyo rin po, Panginoon. Uh, prepare our hearts and minds as we listen to your word again, O God, and uh, bless the singing of the choir. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <coughs> Let us listen to the choir. Amen. Thank you, choir, for that wonderful song. Let us all stand once again and get our hymnals and turn it to hymnal number 96. Hymnal number 96, He Abides. 
we will be singing the first and second stanza. Hymnal number 96, say amen if you are there. Amen on the first stanza. I'm rejoicing night and day. Ready, sing. I'm rejoicing night and day as I walk and have For the hand of God in all my life I see. And the reason of my bliss, yes, the secret of all is this, that the Comforter abides with me. He abides, He abides, hallelujah, He abides with me. I'm rejoicing night and day as I walk the narrow way, for the Comforter abides with me. Once my heart was full of sin, once I had no peace within, till I heard how Jesus died upon the tree. Then I fell down at his feet, and there came a peace so sweet, now the Comforter abides with me. He abides, he abides, hallelujah, he abides with me. Rejoicing night and day as I walk the narrow way, for the Comforter abides with me. Amen. You may all be seated. Okay, thank you for those wonderful singing. Good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome to Baptist Bible Church. Again, for those of you who are watching online, good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Well, uh, uh, it's good to be in the house of the Lord as we again worship the Lord together. Just a few reminders this coming Saturday po. Uh, we're going to have a love banquet. It's open to all. So mga couples po at uh, husband and wife. Ayan, okay na okay to. Kung hindi kayo nakapag-date last uh, Wednesday. Wednesday ba? Thursday. O yun, yung sa tayong 14. Uh, this is the great time for you uh, to celebrate love uh, post-Valentine. Okay, so we're going to have a... Uh, a banquet, resilient together. This is not only open to couples, but also if you, uh, to the young at heart. Okay, so it's, uh, we're going to have a fellowship at uh, Panko Restaurant, uh, a cafe. Okay, Panko Rest, uh, Cafe at the podium in Mega Mall. Okay, uh, tickets are available for uh, 500 pesos each. And then um, you can have, uh, uh, you can sign up at the back for para po uh, may register na po namin if you are the past to pay right now that will be very much welcome and you, for more details you can uh, see sister carol okay resilient together and our speaker for that uh, event is none other than pastor ariel castro okay so makita kita po tayo doon this coming saturday okay and then don't forget our wednesday prayer meeting po uh, it's time to pray for one another as we study God's word and to pray for one another. The lads, uh, we have a prayer list outside. You can get one and continue to pray for uh, those that are listed there. And then, uh, yung ating mga ministries po, uh, nothing, uh, thurs every Thursday's visitation and our uh, uh, classes, yung mga, mga outreach program po natin sa ating pong mga kabataan. Okay, if you'd like to, in uh, to work with the kids, our good news classes po, it's uh, every Saturday at 3 p.m., just near our vicinities po, and we appreciate all those who have volunteered uh, to that work, okay? And then yesterday, we had a great time po sa, sa mga uh, medical ministry po natin. So those of you who are involved in different ministries, thank you, and may the Lord continue to bless you. Okay, and then also don't forget our regular tithes and offering. We praise the Lord uh, for His provision to us. Um, Tight belongs to the Lord, and then beyond that is what we give to missions. That's what we have promised to the Lord, so that we can uh, reach out people till the whole world knows that Jesus is the only Savior. And then also beyond that, we have a special envelope here. It's marked Special Thanksgiving Offering. We are in the process of repainting our church. We appreciate the people who are working, uh, particularly Brother uh, Freddy is involved in this. So marami pong nakita na medyo siyempre wear and tear na po yung ibang par parts dito sa church. So pininturahan yung before the, uh, before the anniversary, we had our front repainted, yung aircon po doon, yun bago na. And then uh, ito pong side na ito, nire-renovate po to dahil minsan 
bahain na po at uh, marami po pong mga bagay-bagay na uh, kailangan i-repair. So if the Lord is uh, uh, talking to you to give, to, then you can give as the Lord uh, has blessed you. Okay, special thanksgiving. And then, uh, yung pong ating uh, uh, auditorium will be repented also. Iayusin lang po yung schedule po para po maayos to para hindi naman mangamoy pintura pag tayo po ay nag-surface. Okay? So, there are lots of things going on and we praise the Lord for His provision for that. Okay? So, do we have anyone visiting with us for the very first time? Is this your first time to be at Baptist Bible Church? Can you, uh, you please stand up? I met one. Si Kyle. Yan. Just I learned. Uh, young missionary pala to. He will be going to... Na-interview ko na Brad sa ABC? ABB. Ah, okay. So, it's nice to have you, sir, with us this afternoon. Okay. So, aside from Brother Kyle, meron pa po ba? Meron pa po ba? Okay. So, let's all please stand up and let's sing our welcome song. Merry Christmas, all those who are work, uh, sitting at the back. Please move forward po. Okay, thank you. Let us sing our welcome song. And kamayan po natin ang isa't isa, lalo na po ang ating bisita. There's a welcome here, a welcome here. There's a Christian welcome here. There's a welcome here, a welcome here. There's a Christian welcome here. Ligaya ng buhay, kung kilala mo si Kristo. as we listen to a special number to be rendered by Brother Dale and Sister Shekina Virai.
Thank you, Brother David and Sister Tess. Anyway, good. Anak yun ni Brother David at ni Sister Tess. Good day. Anyway, um, again, uh, good evening to all, and it's really good to be in the house of the Lord and and hear God's word. And today's this afternoon speaker is a graduate of Asia Baptist Bible College. I just asked him his batch 21. Uh, at 2001, um, he's been a youth director sa Caloacan Baptist Church, and now he's the pastor of uh, Zion Baptist Church in, in Paranaque. And since uh, I'm not going to offering, I'm sorry, he will have an offering. But and we will just take our offering after the sir, after he preaches. So may I call now, uh, Pastor Jeremiah Solomon. Amen. Sigri ba nagtatanong bata ko to matakbo abang umaakit kasi uh, I've been with the young people for many years. I ministered to the young people for 20 years. Nagminister ako sa youth sa kaluokan kaya parang naging forever young yata ako De, just kidding and I love young people even until now I teach young people I teach senior high school students from grade 10, 11, and 12 so masarap kasama ang mga young people you will be young at heart forever okay so Kasi ang mga young people, pag malus natin yan, sayang, sila yung next generation. Okay? And I see some old people here. And, ano nyo, pag nakakita ako ng mga old people, ang sarap nilang kausap. Panahon ng Hapon, panahon ng Kastila, ang sarap makinig sa kanila. You know? Because I love history so much. Okay? So, I don't know, uh, masarap makinig sa mga elder people. You know why, you, why we have to respect them so much? mga young people, bakit ka lang i-respect yung matatanda? Kasi hindi mo alam kung aabutan mo yung edad nila. You'll never know how old you are going to stay here on earth. Sila, napaka-blessed nila. Inabot nila yung 80, 90, may 90 rito, no? Wow. Nanay, Nenita, no? Nanay, Nenita. Nenita, am I right? Your name is Nenita? 
Tama ba ako? 90. She's 90. Naririnig mo ako, Nay? Hindi masyado. I have to talk louder. Naku, hindi kita marinig. May takot ka pa. Okay, na-miss niya rin preaching kanina. Sige, ibigyan kita. Open your Bible to the book of Mark. Please all stand up. Book of Mark, chapter 15. I enjoy the first singing song, congregational song at the cross. And I was really blessed by the song of the choir. Wow. Napakaganda ng message. Pinapakinggan ko yung message ng song. Pwede na. Ano na eh. na bless na ako. Okay na eh. Okay. One day at a time. Classic song. Live one day at a time. Mark chapter 15. Beginning verse 25. And it was the third hour. And they crucified him. Verse 34, And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lay masa baktanai, which is being interpreted. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? O Lord God, we thank you for the reading of your word. It's so precious in our ears, but most precious in our hearts. Again, use your servant as I preach your holy word. I am not worthy to stand before this pulpit, but by your grace, through Jesus Christ, your servant will preach your word. The Holy Spirit will talk to their hearts as I talk to their ears. The Lord, humble us with your word. And thank you, Lord, for giving us that great salvation we did nothing is all by Jesus Christ this afternoon we are going to reminisce what happened on that cross on that Calvary's cross 2023 2024 years ago there was a young man by the age of 33 and a half a Jewish young man came from Nazareth and he was crucified on the cross oh Lord help us to understand your word the Holy Spirit, again, will illumine our understanding. We commit all these things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you very much. As I have said earlier, there was a young man, and he was so young. He was about 33 and a half years old. He, he was sentenced to die. He was not supposed to be there. There was a name by the name. By, there was a man by the name of Barabbas. Siya dapat yung ipapahu don. Pero nagiba yung historia. Jesus of Nazareth was crucified. By the way, who put Jesus Christ on the cross? Who put Jesus Christ on the cross? Well, I believe it was Judas Iscariot who put him on the cross because of money. He sold the Lord for 30 pieces of silver. He told the Roman soldiers where is the whereabouts of Jesus Christ. He told them he is going to pray at the Garden of Gethsemane. Yes, it was Judas who put Jesus on the cross. It was the Roman soldiers who put him on the cross because of cruelty. They were trained to do that. You know, Roman soldiers, they were merciless. They even kill, they can even kill babies, infants. And for them to crucify Jesus Christ, it's just a piece of cake. They are used to that. They were used to that. The religious leaders put Jesus Christ on the cross because of envy. They were afraid that the power might be taken from them because when Christ ministered to the people, when he healed sick people, when he performed miracles, multitudes followed him. And because of that, they were envious of him. They tried to get rid of him. The religious leaders put Jesus Christ on the cross. The Jewish crowd put Jesus Christ on the cross because of idolatry. They said, we have 
no king but Caesar. And they committed spiritual adultery since the very time, since in the Old Testament, when Christ was not, when God was not yet incarnated in the flesh, the Jewish people had that history that they always reject God, Jehovah. And when God became man, they put him on the cross. It was Pilate who put Jesus Christ on the cross because of political stability. When Pilate was about to release Jesus Christ, he feared the people because he's not going to be a friend of Caesar. Afraid of losing his power, he let Jesus Christ to be crucified. Not only because of political stability, because of stupidity. His wife told him that Jesus Christ is a just man. Alam niyo ba yung asawa ni Pontius Pilate? Sabi niya, nasa dream ko, he's just just man. Don't put him on the cross. To get rid of that conscience, nagbigwas na rin siya ng kamay. And, Jesus, and Pilate put Jesus Christ on the cross. And Jesus Christ was put on the cross. The Bible says, on, in, in, our, in the passage that we have read, that Jesus Christ was crucified on the third hour. Ang Jewish time kasi nag start ng 6. So third hour, 7, 8, 9, 9 a.m. in our time, Jesus Christ was crucified. And the Bible says in verse 30, 34 of chapter 15 of the book of Mark, and at the ninth hour, Jesus Christ gave up the ghost. Ninth hour is what? If 6 a.m., nagsistar ng 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, no, no, uh, 9 hours, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 9 hours. So at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Jesus Christ died. From 9 a.m. until 3 p.m., 6 hours po yun. And I'm going to preach six hours on the cross. Six hours on the cross. When Christ was hanging on the cross, those were the deserted hours of Jesus Christ. Deserted hours of Jesus Christ. Alone on the cross, Jesus Christ was crucified only to be numbered with the transgressors. He was deserted by his disciples. Remember Peter, when Christ told, foretold them of his crucifixion, Peter said to Jesus Christ, Though I should die with thee, yet I will not leave thee. Likewise also said all the disciples. Sabi ni Peter, Lord, I'm going to die with you. I will never deny you. And Peter promised that to the Lord. Even all the disciples. Sabi nila, Lord, hindi ka namin iiwan. But if you're going to read Matthew 26, 56, then all the disciples forsook him and fled. Alone on the cross, Jesus Christ was deserted by his disciples. His disciples just left him. Alone in the judgment hall. Ano niyo nakakalungkot sa Panginoon? He was all alone. In the Garden of Gethsemane, he was all alone praying. He took Peter, James, and John. And the Lord told them, Can you not pray? Can you not watch with me one hour? Sabi lang ng Panginoon, just one hour. Hindi nila alam, later on, he will be delivered unto the hands of the Gentiles. The Lord asked one hour, in that Gethsemane, I mean, Garden of Gethsemane, he was all alone. Not only sa Gethsemane, when, when Christ was brought to the palace, he was brought to Gabbatha. Praetorium, another word is praetorium, is a judgment hall. In Hebrew word, it is Gabbatha. Kasi tatlo yung iniwanan siya, Gethsemane. And in Gabbatha, he was tortured by Roman soldiers. He was all alone there. Of course, in, in Golgotha, he was all alone. All of his disciples fled 
they forsook him. They promised not to leave him. Minsan, di ba, nakakalungkot pag meron kang group chat, mga magkakaibigan, and sister and brother saw and saw left the group. You know, I hate living. Jesus Christ was deserted by his disciples. This, the Lord Jesus Christ was deserted by the people whom he healed. He healed the blind. He healed the evil possessed. All of these people came to him. He healed all of them. And he was deserted by these people. Ito nga mahirap sa Panginoon. When he was here on earth, he was followed by many people. But, alam nyo, saan maraming sumunod sa Panginoon? Three roads yung nilakanan ng Panginoon eh. The miracle road, the message road, and the misery road. So, yung miracle road, yung miracle road, maraming sumunod, sumusunod sa Kanya because they were receiving bread and fish. They were receiving healing. Kaya ano sa miracle, maraming sumusunod sa Panginoon eh. Kaya nga sa time natin, pag maraming mga miracle, miracle, healing, healing, maraming sumusunod sa Panginoon. Well, but when Jesus Christ Tinurn niya, hindi naman miracle ginawa niya. Yung message na, biglang lumalim yung message niya. And some people, they were offended of his message. Sabi nila, hindi na kami, hindi na kami susunod siya because your preachings are hard. We cannot understand them. Sabi ng Panginoon sa kanina, because they are spirit and they are life. Sabi, ng mga, sabi niya sa mga disciples niya, will you also go away? And because of that, many disciples of the Lord no longer followed him. When they were following him in the miracle road, a lot of people followed him. Pero pagdating sa message, nag-iiba na yung message. Aba, kasi ang taong gusto, message lang. Love, love, love. Pero nakalimutan nila that God is just. Ang tao, pag, pag, pag prosperity gospel lang na andyan, pero pag may pagsubok na, you don't follow the Lord. But on the misery road, nobody followed him. The six hours on the cross, alone on the cross. Sometimes in blessing we remember him, but in agony we forget him. The six hours on the cross, they were the deserted hours of Christ. Second, there were the despising hours of Christ. If you read your Bible, let's go back to the book of Mark. Mark chapter 15. Look at verse 29. And they that passed by railed on him, wagging their heads and saying, Ah, thou that destroyest the temple and buildest it in three days, save thyself and come down from the cross. Likewise, also the chief priest, mocking, said among themselves with the scribes, He saved others himself, he cannot save. Let Christ, the King of Israel, descend now from the cross that we may see and believe. And they that were crucified with him reviled him. Look at this. The word despise means to look down on with disrespect, to regard as worthless, distasteful. That's the meaning of despise. Sa Tagalog, niyurakan nila ang Panginoon. Dinaw nila ang Panginoon. The pastors by, they were wagging their heads. The chief priests. And the two thieves. Sinabi ng Bible dito sa book of Mark, kasi nabasa nyo lang yung thief, repentant thief, but from the beginning, yung dalawang magnanakaw na nasa gilid niya, they were casting the same words. Dalawa sila, nilalait nila ang Panginoon. If thou be the Christ, save thyself and us. If thou be the king of Israel, they despise him. Well, in Isaiah chapter 53, verse 3, the Bible says, He is despised and rejected of man, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And this is ungratefulness. This is total degradation. This is an infamy. And you, whenever I read my Bible, sabi ng Isaiah, Jesus Christ is a man of sorrow. How can be a man of sorrow wherein he is a man of joy? Alam niyo ba ang Panginoon, he is full of joy in his heart, yet he chose to be a man of sorrow. When he was on the cross, he was despised. Sinabi ng mga tao, you are worthless. The God that the angels worship is being despised by men. 
the son whom God is pleased is being hated by men without logical reason. The Messiah who took away their burdens is being rejected of men. They despise him. Hey, this afternoon, don't dishonor, don't dishonor the Lord by not giving him praise. Don't disgrace him by not following his will. Don't despise him by not believing his word. And these people, when Jesus Christ entered Jerusalem, ano sabi ng Bible? Hosanna in the highest! And on the following day, they shouted different, different cry, the same crowd. Pero at the end ng paglipas ng ilang araw, ano na sinisigaw nila? Crucify Him! Crucify Him! Kung kayo ang Panginoon, He was despised and rejected of men. Let me just go on. If you are following me, are you still following me? Six hours on the cross. Nasa pangatlo lang po ako. Six points lang to. Matatapos na po. There were the deathly hours of Christ. The deathly hours of Christ. When you talk about the deathly hours of Christ, you talk about the separation happened at the cross. Let me just go back to the cross. The Lord Jesus Christ experienced so much pain. Ang unang-unang pain na naranasan ng Panginoon is the physical pain. The physical pain. What made Jesus Christ bleed? There were four things that made Jesus Christ bleed. Unang-una is the Roman whip. Siguro bawat whip ng, 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 ng Roman sa kanya, bawat hagupit ng Roman soldier sa kanya, makita mo talaga na, 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 nawawala yung first and second layer ng kanyang skin. And the second thing that made him bleed is the crown of thorns. Binaun yun sa ulo ng Panginoon. Alam niyo, yung part natin ito, masyadong madugo yan eh. Kaya sabi ng Bible sa Isaiah, there's no beauty that you can behold sa face ni Christ because nung ang Panginoon was presented to Pilate, there were saliva and blood were flowing together. And then sabi ng Bible, if, if you read ang Bible mo, when, when Jesus Christ was crucified, the three nails, I don't know. Ako naranas, naranasan nyo ng mapako. Ako nakatapak na ako ng paako, napakasakit. Sakit. Maliit lang na paako. Pero yung paako ng Roman soldiers, I don't know when when Christ was being crucified, siguro yung first nail. Remember Jesus Christ is also a human being, naging tao siya. Yung unang siguro yung unang nail habang pinapaako sa Panginoon, it is unexplainable. Siguro yung unang nail pa lang, siguro when, when Christ was being crucified, oh, oh. yung second nail, mas lalong hindi niya mapaliwanag yung pain. And then yung nail doon sa may kanyang pa, mas mabigat na because kailangan niyang ilaban na yung third nail. Sobrang sakit na nun. The emotional pain brought by being deserted and the psychological pain br brought by cursing and despising of the people nagsama-sama na the physical pain, emotional pain and psychological pain. Alam niyo yung pinakamabigat? When Christ was on the cross, He said this word, My God! My God! Why hast thou forsaken me? Eli, Eli, lema sabachthani! Why are you, you have forsaken me? God was calling to the Father. Why you have forsaken me? The word forsaken. He was separated. Ano ba kasalanan natin? Sabi ng Panginoon kay, kay Adam, Adam, don't eat that forbidden fruit because in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. And when Adam took that fruit and ate that fruit, on that day he died spiritually. And after 930 years, he died physically. 
two deaths. For the wages of sin is death, and Jesus Christ has to pay this penalty. At three o'clock, he died physically. When he was on the cross, naalala nyo, nauwaw siya, I thirst. Pambira, pag mahala araw, nakarinig ako ng ganyang preaching sa isang priest. Sabi ng priest, I thirst. Nauuwaw daw si Jesus Christ. Bigyan natin ng tubig. Kasi nauuwaw siya sa ating service. Nauuwaw siya sa ating pag-ibig. Hindi pwedeng mauuwaw sa pag-ibig si Christ because He is the law. Hindi siya pwedeng mauuwaw sa service natin. He can be God without human beings. He can be God without you and me. Bakit siya nauuwaw? I thirst. According to the mga theologian, the mystery of the atonement, when Christ was on the cross, He was experiencing the pangs of hell. The eternal fellowship between the Father and the Son was separated because of sin. I thirst, it's the same cry. Ay yung, yung mayaman, eh, tinawag niya si Abraham, Father Abraham, send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger and cool my tongue. It's the same cry. I thirst. Pambira, nararanasan ng Panginoon. Yun dapat natin maranasan sa hell. For second, it was the deadly hours of Christ. My God, my God, why has thou forsaken me? And when Christ was offered of the vinegar with gall, He did not take it. Di ba, minsan sinabi ko rito from the pulpit, hindi niya tinake yung vinegar with gall because it will just ease the pain. And Jesus Christ did not take that because He wanted to experience even the minute pain for you and me. Six hours. It was, it, they were the despising hours of Christ. There were the deserted hours of Christ alone, alone in the Garden of Gethsemane, alone in that Gabbatha Hall, alone in Golgotha, where the people that He healed, where the people that worship Him. Number four, it, they were the darkest hours of Christ. Look at your Bible. Mark chapter 15, verse 33. And when the sixth hour was come, there were darkness all over the whole land until the ninth hour. Look at your Bible very well. Hindi yan nagkaroon ng solar eclipse. The darkest hour, there was darkness from 12 until 3 o'clock. Three hours of darkness all over the face of the earth. Darkness was all over the whole land. Some say the darkest hour in history, they said, is the dark ages in Europe. You know what happened in Europe? The bubonic plague, the darkest hour, occurred between 580 to 1580. The bubonic plague. Some say that the darkest hour in, in U.S. history is the U.S. Civil War in 1861 to 1865. Some says... Meron pa tayong mga, mga natira rito. Sam says, the darkest hour in our history when Japanese came over from 1941 to 1944 until 1945. Kaya nga meron lang tatlong taong walang Diyos. The darkest hour. Some say the darkest hour among the Jews, before the Jews, is the Holocaust of the World War II wherein Hitler slaughtered six million Jews. And I tell you, this afternoon, the darkest hour in history is none other than when Jesus Christ was on the cross. The darkest hour, there was not only darkness all over the earth, there was also darkness in every human heart. It's all dark and it's all evil. Hindi ko alam kung nagre-rejoice sila, Satan, yung mga 
you know, si Satan ang pinaka author nito, bakit ang Panginoon ano, hindi ko alam kung nagre-rejoice ang darkness when Christ was on the cross because from the very beginning, Satan wanted Jesus Christ dead. Siya talaga, you know, inahan niya because on Genesis chapter 3 verse 15, there is a seed of the woman who would destroy the head of the serpent. And he was, he, and, and this enemy has been waiting for that. Inintay niya yan, hanggang nagkaroon ng chosen people. Kung hindi niya pinapapatay ang chosen people. And then, eto na. And then, when, para, to, para may, may clean yung history, fast forward, when Christ was born, pambiran, maraming batang pinatay sa Judea. Remember yung mga Medjay? Hindi na sila bumalik when Herod, Nalaman niya, hindi bumalik yung mga medya, lahat ang two years old, pababa, pinapatay niya, buti nilang ang Panginoon na pinatakas, pumunta ng Egypt, then pumunta sa Nazareth. And when Christ, di ba nawala kasi ang Panginoon eh, nag lang siya 30 years old when he was baptized by John. Alam, merong, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Di niya nakrinig ng mga, mga, mga kampo ni Satanas yun. Sabi ng Bible, after Jesus Christ was baptized, he was led in the wilderness and he was tempted by Satan. Pinatatalo na nga siya eh. Talong ka! Suicidal! And from that time on, hanggang pumasok si Judas, si Satan kay Judas, I don't know, it, during the 12 hours, the, the 6 hours, the darkest hours, don't you know when Christ, when God was creating the whole world, angels were rejoicing? But when Christ was on the cross, angels what? Sabi nila, the heaven is hushed when the Lamb of God is being slaughtered by men. When Christ was on the cross, I don't know what is the picture in heaven. Kilala niyo ba ang warrior ng mga angels? Michael. You read your Bible in the book of Revelation. When Christ will come, Michael will prepare the way. Siya yung army, yung leader ng mga army. I don't know, when Christ was being crucified, di kaya? Remember when Peter, pinagaya si Malco sa'yo, hey, Peter, balik mo yung sword mo. Alam mo ma, meron ng kapangiran to call 12 legions of angel and one legion of angel, pwedeng 4,000 plus yan, and one angel kayang pumatay ng 185,000 men according to the book of Kings. When Michael, siguro nung nakikita ni Michael, Come on, human beings, what are you doing? Hindi nyo kilala kung sino yung tinuturaan nyo. You don't have any idea sino yung sinasampal nyo. They don't have any idea kung sino yung binatungan nila at piniringan nila. Siguro si, si Michael, Atakin, atakin na siguro sabi lang ni Michael, Lord, just the wink of your eye. Isang kindat mo lang, Panginoon, just a snap of your finger, an angel will attack men. But Jesus Christ did not do that. The darkest hour of Christ. The six hours on the cross were the descending hours of Christ. The descending hours of Christ. The word descending means to lower oneself. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 5, Let this man, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation. And, and he humbled himself and took upon him the form of a sermon, and he became obedient even the death of the cross. Let this mind, ano yung sinasabi ng Bible? Let this mind be in you. What is in the mind of Christ when he was on the cross? Kasi sabi ng Bible, he became obedient. The descending hours of Christ. Ano yung sabi ng Bible? Ano yung sinasabi niya? Let this mind, it talks about the humility of Jesus Christ. There is so much humility in the heart of Christ. Sabi ng Bible, he made himself of no, of no reputation. He was a carpenter's son. He took upon himself a form of a servant. Tingnan nyo ha, when Christ came on earth, hindi lang siya naging tao, naging mas mababa pa siya sa tao. He became a servant. 
in the lowest status of man and he in the likeness of man God being man yung yung just lang magkakatawang tao is unexplainable God could have created a perfect angel to send to earth and die for our sin but God did not do that Alam niyo pag pinag-aralan niyo sa Bible with the speck of one God that one God came to earth Emmanuel, God with us, but with respect to the Trinity, it was the Son of God. Kundi nyo maitindihan yan, mysterious yan, how the Trinity works. But I believe that. Pero yung nag-iisang Diyos, siya mismo ay bumaba to die on the cross. It is a complete humiliation and there's so much humility in Christ. The pain, the shame, the mockings, the rejection before the envious leaders. Before, before proud leaders, before his own people, before ungrateful crowd. And he could have called, sabi nung kanta, he could have called 10,000 angels. What a humility. When you talk about humility, ah, saan na rito? JR nandiyan ka? Halika rito, JR. Halika tanak. Mabait ka ba na? Halika rito. How old are you? 16. 16. You kneel down. When you kneel down before God, you show humility. Amen? Amen ba? But this is not complete humility. Na, magpakatira pa ka. Hindi pa. Hindi pa ka. This is humility. You know why? Thank you, thank you. Go back to your seat. Thank you very much. You know why? The word humility came from the word humus. It means soil. You don't really understand the word humility. Pag ang thinking mo, sarili mo, lupa na kalebel mo na yung lupa, that's humility. Pero as long as there is pride in your heart, kahit konti, hindi pa rin siya humility. But Christ, inilevel niya lang. Yumus, lahat tayo naman kasi galing sa dust. The Lord Jesus Christ, when He was on that cross, a complete humility. Kasi kung ang Panginoon, hindi siya humble, isang word niya lang, remember, He created the world by means of His word. Nung sinabi niya, let there be light and there was light, let there be stars in the firmament and there were stars. Whenever God spoke, something happened. Pero when he was on the cross, hindi niya sinabi, ah, kayong mga human beings, you are ungrateful. Lahat kayo maging daga. Alin yung ba pag sinabi ng Panginoon nyo, lahat sila magiging daga. Ginawa niya lang yung tao. And Christ, when he was on the cross, descending of, the, if they were the descending hours of Christ, is a complete humility and God give it grace to the humble. You read your Bible on that Philippians chapter 2. Let this mind be in you. A humble spirit. Wala tayong pwede ipagmayamang sa Diyos. Live one day at a time. You don't know what happened. Hey, time is too short. Time is too short to be unforgiving. Time is too short to be unloving. Hindi nyo alam kung buhay pa kayo bukas. Pambira, lalo na yung mga ibang mga kabataan, kala mo ang lalakas. Pag nakashoot ng basketball, ni Fineflex ba yan? Kala mo ikaw mayaman ka, hey, one day! When you are gone, wala kang madadal ng kayamanan. The humility. Alin nyo nasusukat yung humility natin pag tayo tama, yung nag-silent tayo. Si ang Panginoon, are you the Christ? 
There was there were there were times hindi siya sumasagot. Hindi niya kailangan patulan. Remember when he was presented to Herod, to Antoas Herod. Eh. Nang tagal ko nang hinintay ang Jesus na yan now. Tingnan ko mga nako tagal ko na excited ako makakita ng miracle. And Herod, he wanted Jesus Christ to perform miracle. You read your Bible well. There was no response. Because Herod's heart is empty. There's no love there. There's no faith there. There's no hope there. It's all pride. But not with my Savior. The six hours on the cross, the descending hours of Christ. Lastly, the six hours on the cross were the the delivering hours of Christ. The deliverance from our sin. Kanina sinabi ko, Jesus Christ, He was put on the cross by Judas because of money. He was put on the cross by the Roman soldiers because of cruelty. Because of envy, the religious leaders put Him, put him on the cross. Because of political instability, Pontius Pilate put Him, put him on the cross. The Jewish crowd, because of idolatry, they put Him on the cross. The last person who put Jesus on the cross is you and me! You and me because of our iniquity. When Christ won, was on the cross, He knew you. Alam niya yung pangalan niyo. You know, JR, 2024 years ago, Christ was crucified because of you. When He was on the cross, kinala ka niya. February 18, 2024, now you heard six hours on the cross. Six hours because of you. Because of your sin. Because of my sin. That is the greatest love of all. The greatest love ever told. Sabi ng Bible, but God commanded His love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Hey, God loves the sinners. He loves you. That this, these are the delivering hours of Christ. This is the reason why Jesus Christ, six hours on the cross, He did not quit. Hey, the name of Ah. Six hours on the cross. He did not quit. How can I quit if my Savior did not quit? Come on! This is the reason why we enter, why we are going to enter heaven. Because of what Jesus Christ has done. That's why we Baptists, we believe our salvation is always based upon what Christ has done on the cross, not on the basis of our good works. It's all by grace, through faith. And this is the reason why we serve Him. Because there is no amount of money, six hours on the cross. You read your Bible well, when Jesus Christ died, the Roman soldier, diba sinabi ko kanina? Tinusok siya. Ano lumabas? Blood and water. Bakit water na lang lumabas? Because every bit, every drop of blood binigay ni Jesus Christ sa krus. Every blood and that is precious. Pambira pag pinag-aralan nyo ang soteriology, that is the doctrine of salvation. Bakit ko pinipreach itong six hours on the cross? Ma-appreciate natin yung salvation na natanggap natin sa Diyos. And that's the reason why, why we serve, why we sing, why we sow Him, why we love Him. We love Him because He first loved us. Hindi nyo minahal ang Diyos dahil mahal nyo siya. Siya yung unang nagmahal. Eto lang eh. Six hours on the cross lang, makita mo ang Panginoon. And Paul said, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the, in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son. Look at that. Of the Son of God. Ano yung huling huling ni Paul? Who loved me and gave 
himself for me. Those were the delivering hours of Christ. Now tell me, anong reason niyo para mag-quit? Tell me, anong point niyo para mag-stop in your Christian service? Tell me, anong reason para mag Tell me, anong reason para hindi magbigay? Tell me, anong reason para hindi mag When Jesus Christ did everything for us, six hours on the cross, six hours on the cross, And he did it for you and me. And Paul said that I may know him and the fellowship of his sufferings. That's why pag merong Lord's Supper sa church, do this in remembrance of me. Alam nyo, whenever I read my Bible, ang pinakamasarap basahin when Jesus Christ was on the cross. Yan ang mag encourage sa iyo ulit para magpatuloy. Are you in a point of backsliding? Just go back to the cross. Just go back to the story of the cross, the six hours on the cross. Jesus Christ paid the penalty of sin so that you and me will no longer go to hell and we are going to enter in that heaven because of what Christ has done. That's why salvation, it is very easy, but it is not cheap because it took the blood, the, ble- the precious blood of the Son of God. Let us all stand up and let us pray. Father, we thank you this afternoon. Yes, the preaching may sound theological, but practically speaking, if you could only meditate of what Christ has done on the cross this will really move us and will put us into humility oh Lord thank you more than 2,000 years ago you took our place you took our place you took our crown you took our nails the shame the pain you took everything no amount of money no amount of service that can replace that. And because of that, we are forever grateful. And Lord, we just for all, forever thankful. I don't know with you Christians, the six hours on the cross, Jesus Christ was hung. How about coming forward if you kneel down for Him, for, to thank Him? There's no other reason just to thank Him. Why don't you come? Oh God, thank you for taking my place. Come on, why don't you thank the Lord? 2,000 years ago, He took your place. Come on, why don't you pray? If you want to come forward, no one is hindering you. Amen, amen, come forward, amen. Thank the Lord. Amen, amen. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. Oh God, thank you. He left his, His home. He left heaven, and I don't know why. The song of the choir moved me so much. On that Calvary, my Savior died. On that Calvary, Jesus Christ took the iniquity. And because of that, Jesus Christ established the church. And He purchased that with His own blood. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you for your son. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for your great humility displayed on Calvary. The blood that was shed, it was so precious. And that's the only blood that can take away our sin. Oh Lord, no amount of service, no amount of money can repay that. Thank you, Lord, for everything. 
six hours on the cross will be forever remembered and this will be in our hearts forever we serve you because you're the first one who served us we love you because you loved us first thank you lord for your sacrifices this is the greatest love because love is a sacrificial giving lord continue to bless this church continue to bless your people continue to guide them may your will be done in this church lord we bring you all the glory for those who came forward strengthen what they have surrendered for this afternoon and some of them while standing i believe that they prayed and they are so grateful for that sacrifice that you have made for us we bring you all the glory for we pray all these things in jesus name amen and amen god bless you you may be seated Thank you, Pastor Solomon, for that, for your message, encouraging message. Uh, this time, let's uh, call in the ushers who we'll have our offering. I'd like to call uh, Brother David Wright to lead us in our offertory prayer. Tayo po tayo lahat at tayo manalangin. Let us pray. Our God and Heavenly Father, today, we are so grateful and thankful for another great day and opportunity for us to be revived in your word. Thank you for the great salvation that you have given to us, honoring you and worshiping you with wholeheartedly, especially, Lord, for uh, giving us the reason kung bakit po kami kailangan maglingkod sa inyo. Maraming salamat, takilan Diyos, sa paggamit niyo po sa aming uh, minsahero, Panginoon, na naghayag na yung salita si Pastor Jeremiah, Panginoon. We believe and pray na you'll be the one to always be glorified by preaching your word sa pulpitong ito, Panginoon. Papasalamat kami, dakilang Diyos, na lahat po kami pinagkalaban niyo po ng gabay at biyaya, Panginoon, particularly, Panginoon, sa aming uh, Christian life, Panginoon, sa aming buhay pang araw-araw. Dalangin po namin dakilang Diyos sa aming pagbibigay na inyong uh, inanta sa amin upang kami po ay gamitin nyo na mag ng inyong kabutihan at paglaganap na inyong salita, Panginoon. Nawa dakilang Diyos ang pagkakaloob po ng biyayang ito sa aming nakukuha, Panginoon, na biyaya sa inyo sa aming mga uh, trabaho at sa negosyo, Panginoon, na pagkakaloob nyo sa bawat isa ay maging daan at tudyat, Panginoon, na makareach out na maraming kaluluwa hindi lang po dito sa aming lugar, kundi Panginoon sa buong mundo, Panginoon. At magamit ito sa ikalulahati na inyong pangalan. Pagpalain niyo po, dakilang Diyos, lahat ng aming mga gawain. Bigay niyo po kami ng kalusugan, layo niyo po kami sa tuksod kapamakan, at pagpalain niyo po ang bawat pamilya, Panginoon, na nakarinig na inyong banasalita. All these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you as you give. Again, as a reminder, on uh, on Saturday the 24th, um, I think fellowship. Uh, it will be from 11 to 2 p.m. at the podium. The podium is in the Mega Mall. And... Uh, tickets natin, uh, the cost for, for their lunch is 500 pesos. So, kung gusto nyo pumunta, if you want to go, you can uh, sign up the back, you can give the tickets, see Sister, Sister Carol for, ano, para for our reservation. Okay, so again, I'd like to Call on Pastor Jeremiah, and we have something for you to really show our appreciation for you to speaking us today. We're encouraged, we're blessed. Thank, thank, you. Thank, thank you very much. Okay, so let's all, all, all stand up and let's be uh, dismissed in the word of prayer. Again, I'd like to encourage everybody to again worship with us uh, morning. Our, our Sunday school is nine o'clock, evening. Uh, 
uh, morning service at 10 and saya 2 o'clock and afternoon service at 4. So again, let's pray. Our dear God and Heavenly Father, we're so grateful and thankful for your words, O Lord. Lord, we want to thank you for your great love, for your mercy, and for your grace. Lord, thank you for what you have done on the cross for us, you paid for our sins. Lord, help us to always be grateful for that. Lord, help us not to be complacent of our salvation, Lord, but help us, Lord, to live our lives being a witness for being witnesses for Thee. Again, Lord, we do continue to pray for each one that you would always guide and direct us, O oh Lord, in our, in our daily lives. Again, Lord, we pray for your blessings upon each and every one, for our church. Again, Lord, we would just want to give you all the praises and the glory. And Lord, as we go on our separate ways tonight, Lord, we pray that you will always keep us safe. Lord, I just pray that you will give us a great week ahead help us again to be to honor you in our in our lives again we just commit everything to differ in christ's name we pray amen